Deep within the mountains of North Africa, I'm looking for the origins of an ancient legend, an incredible story that begins with Moses and the Ten Commandments. It's about an object so sacred, it can only be viewed by the most pure Christians. It's so dangerous, it can destroy cities, spread plague, and burn people alive. Many have looked for the source of this legend. The Crusaders, the Popes of Rome, the great kings of Europe, even Indiana Jones. And like them, my quest has brought me to Ethiopia. I'm looking for the keepers of the Lost Ark. My name is David Adams. I'm a photojournalist. And while I travel to many strange corners of the earth, I don't normally get a reception like this. Ethiopia is a landlocked nation in North Africa. Once a mountain kingdom, it remained isolated from the rest of the world for over a thousand years. Ethiopia is the only African nation never to be colonized thanks to warriors like these. They wiped out invaders with ferocious efficiency. And this is how they developed battle courage. It's the ancient sport of quacks. It's a form of jousting, and as you can see, the rules are simple. Get out of the way fast. The spears are real and very sharp. That was incredible. I've never been chased like that in a horse ever. It's no wonder that Ethiopia has never been really occupied with guys like that chasing the people out of here. Just fantastic. Oh. <clears throat> but I come in peace. In fact, I come as a pilgrim. My journey starts in the Ethiopian highlands, where I'll shortly set out on a 200-mile pilgrimage. That's 320 kilometers. My journey will take me to some of the most sacred shrines in this ancient land. First stop is the town of Lalabella, where thousands of pilgrims are gathering for Christmas. Ethiopia is one of the world's oldest Christian nations, so I wear a white shawl to show respect, and I carry a pilgrim's staff for divine determination. My pilgrimage will take me through the 12 days of the Orthodox Christmas, ending with Timkat, the Ethiopian Feast of the Epiphany. But none of this happens on any dates we use in the West. According to the local calendar, there are 13 months in a year. The 21st century is still years away. And sitting here under the midday sun, it's still 5 p.m. In other words, Western time here is irrelevant. And listening to this fire and brimstone preacher, so are some aspects of Western culture. 
No coffee, he shouts. No alcohol, no loud talk, excessive laughter or noisy parties. Otherwise, I will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Not exactly my idea of Christmas. So to help me on my pilgrimage and guide me through this fundamental Christian country, I need expert help. I find it in this humble Lalabella home. So all these people just come from the street, you invite them in? Yeah, I invite them in my home. That's lovely. And then everybody does that for Christmas? This sure. is the custom? Yeah, it's the custom, it's our culture, yeah. This is Ishitu, his wife Ababa, and her cousin Tete. Tomorrow we leave on a family pilgrimage to the ancient city of Gonda. And these people have come from how far away? Uh, they came almost seven days and eight days from, they came from different parts really? of Ethiopia. Thank you. This looks this like you feed me for the day. Yeah. This is holy bread. Yeah. It's astonishing charity in a country so Christmas desperately poor. So out of respect, and despite the warnings of the fire and brimstone preacher, I try some of Ishitu's beer. Now it looks like it's very good. Mm -hmm. Mm, How bad. do you like it? That's good. It's um, it's quite bitter. Mm -hmm. There's things floating in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll export to your country. Somehow I don't think it will work. <laughs> <laughs> Before I set off as a pilgrim, I must learn more about Ethiopian belief. And in Lalabella, you don't have to go far. Here, the church is a thriving institution. One in five Christian males is a deacon or a priest. This is a Christmas liturgy, conducted as it would have been 1,500 years ago. The chanting, the robes, the mysticism, all belong to the deep biblical past. something that seems very African about this dance. It's actually one of the oldest liturgies in existence. It has its roots in the days when Christianity was a radical Jewish sect. And underlying it all is unswerving faith. They call Lalabella the New Jerusalem. There are 11 of these churches here dating from the 12th century, and all of them are carved by hand out of solid rock. Hello. Hello. I'd like to buy some candles. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Churches are connected by a maze of tunnels. Over the centuries, they've been turned into catacombs. All around me are the bodies of long dead monks, skin and bone preserved in the dry mountain air. Passages twist and turn into an elaborate underground labyrinth. Yeah. 